This is Rose from In Rose's Garden, and today we're going to work on a simple pair of alligator clips with a Christmas theme. I think you're really good. They're really cute. I hope you will think so as well. So let's turn down and I'll show you what we're going to do. Two uh, alligator clips. I always make my alligator clips in pairs. So we'll have one going in either direction. We've got the base piece, which will go over like so. And then we have a little Christmas wreath. We're just gonna go on top of that, like so, like this. Then we're gonna take this little reindeer and he's gonna be jumping in the middle of the wreath, like so. Isn't he cute? first thing we need to do is you'll notice the reindeer has a little um, ring on him. We don't want that ring. So we're going to take our clippers and we're going to cut that ring right off of his antler. And because it's now a bit on the um, sharp side, we're going to get our file out and we'll file down these rough spots some where we cut the ring off of. go very simple now one step that is would be is next that we don't do on these that we do on our um, hair barrettes is bending them because this is a straight piece so what we just need to do is get our e6000 out and glue these two pieces on so now because this has um, just a little bit of curvature to it not hardly any, but it is uh, to soften the sides, so to speak. It does have some. So we'll let this, nope, boop, boop, no, 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 not all the way over. I hate that when that happens. Down and no. Now we'll let that dry and then it'll peel off because this is a silicone mat, but... Um, I'm going to be careful because it looks like it might be down in the hinge a little bit, so we need to open it up as soon as we get a chance to do that. So here is glue number two. And we'll hopefully not knock it over. There we go. So now we'll take the first one of these. Looks like it has a slight upward bow as it is. I don't want it to do that, so we'll straighten that some. Then we're going to stick it right on top there. Then we're going to turn it over like I just did, move it so it's you were happy with its placement, get a couple of baby clothespins, put on either side. That one just moved, don't want it to move, there we go. Then we'll go to this side and put a clothespin in so it rests right inside that cup part right there. So now that one is starting its journey to being. So now we do the exact same thing with this one. Now I did I did the glue earlier because that way it allowed it to dry just a touch and it didn't instantly start sliding around the minute it got on here. Though it is sliding a little bit, just not a ton. So now we'll get this one glued or I should say paper clipped. So there's, now we wanna make sure they're going opposite directions, see, like so. Now, if your clothespins aren't 
so close that it blocks them from going on, you can go and put the rest of the pieces on right now too. And I'm not, so I mean I'm not blocking. So I am going to put my uh, other pieces in place. So we'll get our E6000 out. Go around the edges. Now, I had already painted these pieces, but if you haven't painted pieces and you want painted pieces, well then do them before you put them on. Anyway, I would advise that. So there is the wreath on this one. Now I keep a paper towel beside me because I am inevitably getting glue on me. Get this one out. Put the glue on the bottom back. And then ease it down into place. There we go. Now now you see how that's just pooled up there? Get rid of that gooky mess. Now the next thing, of course, is our little deer. Now you can do them one of two ways. Put glue on the deer or just put glue down here and put him down onto it. I usually just put my glue on my piece. Oop, he's got a hanger there. There we go. And then we're going to take it and carefully drop it down where you want it. So now for the second one. Where you go, dude. So now these need to dry for a while, and then we need to decide if we need to do any cleanup. If we don't, they're ready to go. Okay, we've let this sit for a while. Let's see if it's uh, dry enough to remove. I think I'm going to put that back on there. See if it needs any cleaning up. It might before we're done, but um, if you see any globs of glue that need to be taken off, get a tweezer and just sort of pluck them. but you have to let it dry for at least 20 minutes prior to doing that or it will make an unholy mess. I'm gonna let these stay on here and dry for a little bit more. Um, they look like they want to pull up just a teeny touch which I definitely don't want them to do. So we're gonna sit them aside again and let them continue to dry. And for that to dry, how about we make a uh, extra small hairbrush? This one's going to have a little crab and that extra step I talked about of bending the, the pieces is going to have to happen for this one. So let's see what we've got here. This is gonna to need to bend a little. See how there's a gap right there? But just a little bit. So let's get out our benders. There we go, that side. This is the same way this one corner over here has to bend. There 
There we go. This one needs a little touch more. Just a touch. That should do it. Then we've got the middle bar, the middle piece. It's going to go, these will go in either corner. This one is going to go through the middle, like so. And it looks like this corner needs to go down just a touch more. So we'll just bend that a little by hand. Go down just a touch more. Okay. Then we have to bend our little crab. Isn't he cute? Already painted him. Now, I don't generally paint on camera, though I did do a painting video the other day. I painted some mushrooms and some um, dragons. So if you want to see how I paint, there is that video. Or if people would like to see me paint again, I can do that sometime. I'm just not going to do it to now because I already have a lot of pieces painted. And um, for one thing, and for two, I'm getting ready for a, my last show of the year. Well, it may not be my last one there. I've been off uh, invited to another one, so we'll see if I decide to do that other one, but we'll see. So now we just put glue on this, just like we did the uh, alligator clips. Let's get this purple out of here. It's coming off of the mat. I use a silicone mat when I'm gluing or painting to uh, keep it from getting on my regular cloth mat. So now we put the two little silver pieces on either end, bing, and so. Then we want to see how much of the overlap there is. So we want to put a little glue on these back circles here where um, it was overlapping. put it down on here and I think one of these have moved so we're gonna have to flip it over and see how we're doing here looks like that one's good but this one has moved so we'll take a pen if I've got the upper one where I want it and we'll pin this and I'm going to do this on either side so that it um, is holding good and then we'll flip over to this other one first of all we're going to wipe some of this glue off my fingers we'll even it up it pin it closed so it stays pretty much in place 
And then we'll see if the little crabby, yep, he's got enough room he can go in there think, without worrying about it, I think. So we'll glue him and put him on. And this one is going to be done other than drawing and seeing what we need to fix. So his pinchers in the front don't need glue, nor do the little points in the back, but his whole body and then these little legs here do. So you just... Okay, and then he's just going to go straight down into the middle here. And let him dry for a while. set him aside over here and we'll bring our these back in and we'll see if we can take their clips off yet let's try and see how these guys are going okay, that looks pretty good this side yep yeah, we're good Oop, except for you want to come along let's get any runners off here doesn't look like this one needs any cleanup this one is finished now it just needs to sit and dry the rest of the way, which is 24 hours. So let's take this baby off. Oops, this one had a sticky. I could feel it. And this one. So let's get our tweezers out. And let's see if we can't pull some of this grungy spot off. Now you usually can pull it about after about half hour, 20 minutes at least. And But if you let it go too long, it won't come out anymore. But... So there are our alligator clips with our wreath and deer on them. You can see they're going opposite directions. So that, well, this one would go in this side and this one would go in this side for our hair combs or alligator clips. So that's this set done. And let's see how our little a little um, crab is doing here. See, we got a little runner piece right here. Looks like it's got a hair stuck in it. We don't want that. There we go. This guy's going to have to sit for a little while before uh, before we clean him up. Okay, let's check our little crab again. He's so cute. Let's pull our pins off this side. See how we're doing. It's a little bit loose, but not loose enough that I need, feel I need pins back in place. Now 
Now let's see if we need to clean anything up here. There is a spot right here. Hmm, this glue is still a teeny touch wet for pulling purposes. Probably should leave it another 10 minutes or so. That one's so cute. I like this little crab so much. See, this side doesn't need any pull. This just has this spot right here. Okay, I think she's good. So there is our little crab. Our crab, whoops, let some of the glue fall right here. We don't want that. I think it's so cute, the little crab. And then our pair of Christmas wreath and reindeer alligator clips. So there we are, we have our alligator clips. Aren't those cute? They go in your hair like this one would go this way. And then, of course, this one goes the other way. So there's those two. And then our little extra small hair barrette, the little crab. Isn't he cute? I love that little crab. I think it turned out so cute. So anyway, this has been Rose from In Rose's Garden. And we've been making a pair of alligator clips and a little extra small hair barrette. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.